buying or selling a house with leased solar panels that's what we're talking about today the thing is is that i have a client who is buying a house it has leased solar panels and it's now holding up or closing because nobody can figure out how to move past this so i decided to do a video today about that this way if you have a house that has solar panels on it or if you're buying a house with solar panels on it you'll know exactly what to do you'll do that ahead of time right after this welcome back to my channel i'm so happy you're watching this video because this is something that's happening more and more as a realtor on staten island i drive around staten island i keep seeing more and more roofs have solar panels on them and the question is well one day before your lease expires you're going to decide that you want to sell this house or you're a buyer and you fall in love with the house and now you want to buy a house and it has solar panels and they're leased and you don't know what to do about it so in this video i'm going to walk you through it and you'll be well equipped as a staten island realtor and a staten island resident i love helping you navigate the home selling process and today's subject is solar panels. So let's get right to it. I got on the call, reached out to the solar company that is currently leasing out to this homeowner for this house. The house is located in Southeast Annadale. And we're holding up the closing because nobody knows what to do and how to transfer the ownership. So they told me that there's two options. One option is the buyer can pay off the lease in full and just get to the closing and call it a day. Or the seller can pay off the entire lease of the solar panel, get to the closing and call it a day. But option number two is transferring ownership from the seller to the buyer. Now, a leasing contract is a contract so you can't break this contract you either has to have to pay them full or transfer ownership to the buyer in our particular situation the buyer had agreed to take over the lease and continue making payments um, as they are scheduled on a monthly basis for the remaining duration of the solar panel lease so I went, I got this information. The lady on the phone told me, yes, she confirmed. Those are the only two options. And she sent me an email with instructions. Okay, so as a buyer of a house, you can go ahead and take a look and fill out the application yourself, assuming you have all the information from the seller. And I'm gonna be very doubtful that the seller will give you some private information about them. In our situation, we did get a contract, a copy of a contract. I could show you what the contract looks like. So this is the contract on top of here. You're going to have a lease number. This is what it looks like. Gives you all the terms, payment schedule. And so the solar company sent me an email and it basically reads, are you trying to sell your house, refinance or apply for a reverse mortgage? Do you need to make changes to your lease contract because of military relocation, divorce, marriage or death? Oh boy. Please visit www.sunpower.com slash life and click on submit a line. So let's go and see what do we need to get started so you have an option to refinance lease change home sales home sale change to current lease due to sale of your home must be completed prior to final close current for current home and not instructions for completing are included in the form or let's see what changes to lease due to well we're not relocating due to those things so let's submit online and let's see what happens. Relationship to currently see, I would say is buyer, requester's email. I would put my email, let's see what happens, right? Because we wanna see what happens. Requesting for uh, buyers assuming the lease. Please provide the following information. Okay, so I do have the lease number, which we're going to put in here. 
I have the owner's name and it, maybe I'll have the owner's contact number. So you will go through all of this and you will fill it out. The obvious question now is how long will it take, right? Because we want to know how much time do we have and we want to be proactive because we're trying to avoid holding up the closing because of a solar panel lease transfer. So the nice lady on the phone told me it takes seven to 10 business days. So I'm um, taking into consideration 10 business days will be two weeks. If I know that I'm planning a closing sometime within the next three to four weeks, a good idea is to start right now. I also asked a question that I'm sure you guys have a question about, and that is, okay, and what happens if the lease is being transferred, but yet I have not closed on the property yet. I don't wanna be paying on a lease on a home that I don't own yet. And the answer to me was basically, they can update the dates as needed as long as the paperwork and everything has been done and approved. So the paperwork requires to be filled out. Uh, within the two weeks, it's gonna be approved. And then just like we're getting, if you ever closed on the house before, you know that you have to provide evidence of homeowner's insurance in order to be at the closing. Sometimes the closing gets delayed. So what happens? You, your insurance uh, company changes the effective date based on the closing date. It will work the same way with the lease transfer of the solar panels as well. So don't be scared to buy a house with solar panels. Yes, you are basically getting a monthly payment. I don't know nothing about solar panels. I don't wanna tell you if it's a good idea or not. Everybody has their own opinions about it. The conclusion is, is that it is a lot easier than I anticipated. And I'm sure it's a lot easier than you thought. This was pretty easy. I'm so glad I actually took the initiative for my client and made that call. And now I can help my client get that done so they can finally get to their closing date. I did a video about who schedules the closing date. You can watch that next right there. It's a good video. We always talk about all the processes from beginning to end when you sell a house or you buy a house, but nobody ever talks about who actually schedules the closing date. Consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Monday.